So hi, my name is Jessica and I am a leadership and change coach for professional women. And this week's video blog is called Smart Women and Anger. So why anger? Uh, I chose anger because it's been coming up with a lot of my coaching clients and I thought it was something we should look at. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because it surprises my coaching clients. These are deeply loving, idealistic professional women and we've got a lot of anger. So how come? Uh, the first thing I wanted to look at is uh, how we mask anger. So we might be unaware uh, that we even have anger and it might come out in more socially acceptable ways such as frustration or irritation or uh, simply stress. And another way our anger can come about is through physical symptoms such as nausea or fatigue or headache or um, sometimes we cry instead of experiencing anger. So we find these ways for anger to come out and if we have some sort of practice of observing our emotions we might actually start to recognize that we're experiencing anger and we don't necessarily express it in a way that's obvious because it's not socially acceptable for women to do that. We're raised to be more so harmonizers or people who take care of others rather than express something like anger. So it can feel dangerous to express it and it feels like there's a cost. An example of that in our culture is when Donald Trump called Hillary Clinton a nasty woman and that had impact. And the reason it had impact is because um, it destabilized her as a leader and it um, pointed to her having a low ability to self-regulate. So when we express anger as women, it can mean two negative things. It can mean that we're not able to self-regulate, emotionally self-regulate, and that we're unstable. So there's a real cost for expressing our anger. So there's a real, there's a very good reason for intelligent women to want to suppress it. Um, however, there's also a cost to that, which is that we're still experiencing it, but we're not processing it. So um, in our collective unconscious, there's sort of a history to this where in the 19th century, doctors used to prescribe medication for women who had hysteria or general malaise. And there was actually a pharmaceutical industry surrounded, surrounding um, gendered expressions of emotion. So there's a lot of baggage here for professional women in our culture when we express anger. So given all of that, what do we do about it? Um, to unpack all of that cultural social conditioning, we might need to um, get some support to unpack it for ourselves and look at how we can skillfully access it, um, explore it safely, and express it in an intelligent and discerning way. So I've got a list of seven packages of questions for you to ask yourself in looking at how you can navigate your anger. So the first one is, da -da -da, um, how can my anger be an expression of my intuition? And how can I treat this as information to be curious about rather than an inappropriate emotion to be managed or suppressed? Secondly, how do I use my anger as a source of good and change in the world? So how is my anger useful? Third, can my anger be used as a resource for healing in relationships or as a tool to help me heal myself? And four, how do I differentiate assertiveness from aggression? Do I confuse the two? Do I stop myself from self-asserting for fear of being perceived as aggressive? or becoming aggressive for lack of practice in having my needs respected. Five, how is lack of healthy self-assertion related to my anger, and how can I express my anger in healthier ways? Six, if I'm not aware of my own anger, what might I be angry about if I were angry? What's the cost of being angry about that? Are the stakes high? And might this be why I don't feel angry? So the last thing I wanted to say about anger is for some of us, we lack the practice um, of expressing it, given the reasons stated in this video. So when we try and express it, sometimes it comes out in the wrong way, the wrong tone. And so we really need to practice generosity toward other women and toward ourselves when we're looking to express anger 
um, because we lack practice. We lack, um, and it's, it's more dangerous for us to express our danger, danger than for men. So that's this week's uh, Smart Women and Anger. <laughs>